So thank you for being here and taking time out of your busy schedules. It is so worthwhile to me to be able to spend time with people face to face and talk about online. It's healthy for us to come together to be able to ask the hard questions and support each other in ways that we can't always um, do from afar. So thank you. And thank you to Pat and to Sue. It's a huge job to pull off an event like this, and we appreciate Jenny. This has been beautiful. Let's give her a hand for the work that she's done. To <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Witchy, and we appreciate, we appreciate the hospitality and the time taken. And for those of you that have traveled from far away, um, we appreciate that as well. The presenters, the faculty, you did not have to do this. For many of you, um, David is uh, he's grading exams in his hotel room at night so that he can be with us during the day, and, and we appreciate that. Thank you so much to everyone for being here to support what we do. I want to thank all of you as well for coming uh, to this last uh, Western Interstate Commission for Higher Education uh, Professional Development Workshop that we've put on. I know that, as Maria said, it takes um, time away from very important work that you're doing, and I understand that it, it's difficult sometimes to step away, but at the same time, I think that we gain a lot of value from coming together, sharing ideas, and I'm very hopeful that you know we've we've tried to put into each of the two days time for you guys to actually interact with one another work with your curriculum so i hope that you find that of value as well and so we want to kind of say our last um, farewell to you <laughs> i feel like singing a song farewell uh, well whatever <laughs> Um, but anyway, as we've done in past workshops, we always like to go around the room and do flexions for expediency purposes. We are going to put the people in the front row on the spot and not the back row so you guys can breathe easy. But what I'd like to do is just pass the microphone around and we're going to do it systematically because we are recording this and just ask each of you to reflect briefly on something that you heard or an interaction that you had at this workshop that you felt was so valuable in relationship to your professional development? Um, there was a lot of really good content at this workshop that I appreciated. I think it probably would have been really helpful about a year ago, um, but better late than never. So I plan to take back what I learned, especially yesterday with accessibility and roll that in while we still have some time left on the grant. I just want to say thank you to Jerry for yesterday because at that point I was going there's no way we can get all this done in the grant requirements and he actually sat down with us and came up with a plan a workable plan that we can use and I really appreciate it. In addition to thanking Jerry because I was in on that conversation um, I'd like to say that uh, some of the ideas about how to change teaching in your classrooms is really helpful. I will say, David, I saw your videos on YouTube before I came here, and we were so impressed with what you'd done. Uh, so we kind of want to look into how we can change something. So thank you. Thank you. It has been a pleasure to be here with all of you and see familiar faces. And we hope uh, you'll use Nanslow Labs and we'll continue in thinking and talking about innovation. Uh, I would like to second what Farah said and thanking you all for being part of um, the NANSLO efforts here and it's been an honor to work with all of you. Um, I think that I've learned a lot about how to change my approach to teaching and not just be the lecturer in front of the classroom. Um, I really thought it was interesting seeing the different implement implementations of all of the different programs because I think we are a very diverse group and just seeing how different things have been used in a, a wide range of topics and areas. Yeah, I just want to come back up what Brenda said in that uh, I think uh, what I gained over these workshops over the past quite a few years is um, not only an increased knowledge basis into what is out there that I could use as extra tools to supplement my teaching but also um, different people that I can be in contact with for collaborations uh, in the future. I see a, um, a lot of you know, good creativity that I can tap into um, through the years. So thanks for being a part of it. 
and hope to talk to you soon. I think the biggest takeaway for me from this workshop, once again, was um, being able to talk with other people that are doing similar things and and knowing who to reach out to. Um, I'm, I think with the first couple of years, I was learning what I can do, and now knowing where and who to reach out to is is the the end of the story, as far as finishing that that whole project for how to integrate all this into to classes and making it available online in a very effective and um, effective and, and and keeping the rigor where I, I think it should be. So I think that's important. I think my big biggest takeaway from this has been getting to, again, talk with the people that are helping us to make this change and to move this project forward and hear from them as well as put a face with a name. And like Quincy said, it's, it's, this trip has been more about the who because the first two was more about the what. Universal design and accessibility that I didn't know and I realized I got a lot of things to fix in a lot of the things that I did that won't work for my hybrid course but they're going to help me fix them so that was great. Um, I think one of the things that, that I've heard here in the last couple of days is the idea that a ch the changing learning environment and how that's not necessarily a bad thing. It presents a challenge, but that challenge requires that we rethink the way people learn. So um, some of these changes are difficult to face, but on the other hand, um, it's teaching us a lot about maybe how we deal more specifically with how people learn. So I, that's one of the take homes I, I took away from this. I don't think there was a single session that I didn't find valuable. Um, I agree, the UDL, uh, the, <coughs> having, having Paul here, having Jerry here, having the cast people here, having the Nanslow people here, um, I'm a big proponent of online and, and uh, hybrid learning, but there is a lot of value to the face-to-face -face opportunity to actually sit across the table and talk to people. And so I, I appreciate everybody being here and sharing with us uh, today, or this last couple of days. I also want to give a special thanks to Paul and to Jerry. Uh, Paul's been with us on several of the workshops and we really appreciate his dedication and commitment to OER and Jerry and his forward thinking about education and, and what's happening in the world and how we do need to change. And also, since it is our last one, I also want to give a special thanks to Pat Shea. Pat has been an incredible colleague and mentor and boss. Um, I know when we start to develop, what are we going to do for these workshops? I mean, she has been amazing at helping to guide me to the professionals, the, the speakers that we've brought in. And we, we are so, you know, just ecstatic that we've been able to get Paul and Jerry to come. And, but I mean, without Pat and the connections and and the people that she knows, I mean, thank you <laughs> so much. I really appreciate your friendship, your mentorship, and everything that you have done to bring the quality that has taken place in these workshops. So thank you so much.